Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Monday. Um, I want to talk to you today about coconut oil. I mention it quite often and then I have people, you know, asking me questions for, you know, to clarify that. And then a lot of the questions I've been asking, like health questions I've been getting asked, coconut oil comes to me. I go to, so I thought I'll just do a whole video on coconut oil and its benefits. When you do coconut oil, when you get it, it has to be organic, virgin, um, unrefined and cold pressed. I'll put this in the description for you. I order mine usually by the gallon. I love this brand. I use coconut oil in some form every single day. Everyone in the family, uh, tons of different things. I also pick up these little ones sometimes just at the grocery store, or whatever. Organic, you know, same things. Um, just because I, you know, stock it in so many, every which way I can find it. Um, but it's great now so there's a lot of different benefits for it but it, you need to make sure it does ha it is the particular because if it's just if it's anything else it won't do these benefits is what i'm trying to say but it you know it's the mct which is your medium chain triglyceride which is what our is a fat that our bodies can turn easiest into ketones which is what is needed for um, brain function. It helps with Alzheimer's, uh, mental clarity, um, memory, cognitive stuff. It's, it's great uh, for your brain. It's a great antioxidant, which is going to get rid of oxidative stress. I talk about oxidative stress often and what it does and all, everything. If you have oxidative stress in your body, it just will snowball from there and all these things will happen, you know, so that's going to help with anxiety, depression, um, you know, which is also you bring that oxidative stress down with the antioxidant uh, properties it has it's going to build your immune system so it's antibacterial antifungal antiviral i talked about in a video about monolaurin monolaurin is lauric acid which is derived from coconut oil that is what i use to treat my lyme disease i had horrific lyme disease and that is what i use and so this is another the coconut oil will help with that viral um, load also. Now, as far as like the antifungal, antibacterial, um, candida yeast internal, um, like people get that um, candida overgrowth in their um, in their gut. It helps that and external. Um, if you have ringworm, jock itch, um, athlete's foot, yeast infections, either way, coconut oil will help that. Um, heart health um, because it prevents um, high cholesterol. It helps that, and that's the whole you know, MCT, how all that balances out. So it also helps women in perimenopause and menopause because it helps regulate estrogen. And um, going right into that about estrogen issues, um, it is a optimal um, function for your thyroid. Thyroid, when I think people saw thyroid, whichever way it goes, coconut oil, inc incorporated every day. I put like half a teaspoon and my coffee every day to get it in for all the benefits and it's a it's just fantastic for your thyroid for functioning correctly and a lot of people who have thyroid issues especially women that get it it is from estrogen dominance and so it'll regulate that it all builds off of each other i tell people all the time you know the body has to be seen as a whole one area is not just one area i promise it affects other areas um, so moving on insulin it helps your insulin level for people who are preventing diabetes or who have it it helps balance um, that out oral health i've talked before about um, oil pulling for your teeth with coconut oil fantastic for your oral health um, healing cavities gingivitis overall health because a lot of things that go on with people and people don't realize a lot of people who get heart disease and heart problems it starts with your mouth people who have had um, a lot of dental work who have gingivitis who have had root canals they are horrific i'm sorry if you've had them they're horrific you're better to have it pulled um because it goes right to your heart it'll it'll do that and coconut oil oil pulling um i've talked about that before or look it up coconut oil should go to for that so it also helps with uh, burning calories, belly fat. It's a big burner for belly fat, which is usually something that comes with age, hormone imbalance, um, insulin resistant, high cortisol levels. People will just get, you know, pudgy on their belly and they just can't seem to lose it. And coconut oil is good for that. Um, oh, seizure reduction because in children, there's a lot of times they've, and there's been studies of that, 
um, where it helps reduce that because, and the reason why, and I say this is in place of if somebody is on anti-seizure medicine has bad seizures, that's not what I'm saying, but things in the brain that can cause seizures or are affected by seizures, um, coconut oil helps that. And it has to do with the ketones, how our body turns coconut oil into ketones, which helps our brain. So that helps with that. Great for um, inflammation, arthritis, any type of inflammation in your body, it'll get it'll rid um, that. Allergies, um, your digestive system because of um, allergies, digestion, and eczema. Those usually build off of each other. A lot of times it has to do with candida overgrowth in us. It has to do with, you know, some sort of imbalance. That that helps all that. Um, skin, anything, I've talked about that, anything topical um, you can use, even if you have like a scrape, a burn, anything like that, you know, because antibacterial, fungal, viral, it helps with all everything like that. Um, it does help heal with... Um, liver, kidney, and uh, pancreas type diseases. It helps heal that because it helps damage internal tissue. So if you have any of those, and again, my thing about almost every single thing I talk about is preventive care. If you incorporate this regularly and it has your body balanced, it heals things and it's just constantly going, these things will not take hold. These are preventive care also. So don't wait till something happens to start incorporating these things I talk about. Um, it's great for your bones and teeth, you know, just the way that they, um, that those fats work in our body. And also, I mean, even on, you know, for like, you know, hygiene, and everything like this, coconut oil is the best lubricant instead of synthetic lubricants. They're not good for you. Anything synthetic is truly not good for your body. Coconut oil, because it prevents all these other things and, you know, topical things. It's perfectly safe. If you get it the way that, you know, the ones I how I said it has to be, it's great for that. So there's just, there's a ton of uses for it. I mean, I use it every single day. You can use it on, you know, as long as you're not, there are some people, I think I've met one people person in my life that was allergic to coconuts. Some people are, I mean, that just happens. You could, so if you are, of course, don't use coconut oil, but it's usually well tolerated, you know, as far as using it on, you know, skincare instead of putting lotions that have a lot of chemicals in it. I use coconut oil. I use it on my face. I use, you know, that's just my go-to. That's what I use. My, my babies, when they were little, even still now, like that's their, you know, massage or lotion, coconut oil. Plus, you know, you're putting a barrier of protection of anything that would be bacterial, fungal, viral, anything that could touch. If there was a cut, you know, anything like that. Um, it's fantastic. I cannot say enough good about it. It is a staple in my house. I will never run without. I will stack this one to the rafters because it's so many benefits. It helps so much. Natural, completely safe. Um, so I encourage everybody to get that. I'll put some stuff in the description. I've had a lot of questions about this one and certain medical stuff. Like I said, that I keep saying, do coconut oil, incorporate in your diet. And I'll go over, if you've never taken coconut oil, internal um do not just go in there and eat a whole bunch of it you will know about yourself it will clean you out because a lot of times you're going to have a die off if you have any kind of candida overgrowth in your body it's going to create a die off and your body is going to rid of that so do precautions start out with you know a fourth or half a teaspoon like i say i put it in my coffee every morning it tastes you know it tastes great i just it's just something i'm used to and i do and i get it in that way you can cook with it also as it runs on a higher temp like some oils don't so um, i encourage you get coconut oil it has so many benefits incorporate it into your your diet your health and beauty all the time every day and uh it'll prevent a lot of things and uh just want to leave that with you guys everyone stay well god bless and i will see you next time